All right, good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. So today we are gonna have a very productive day at university. And why are we gonna have a very productive day? Because my exam is in less than a week and your boy needs to study. So I've been going to the same library now for about four weeks, I think. And every single day I've sat in the same one or two seats and I've looked at the same wall for over eight hours. So I really need a change. And if I'm gonna be super productive today, I need something new, I need a change of atmosphere so that I can get that boost of energy that's gonna help me study for eight hours today. I'm gonna head to the Mon Library, which is part of King's College London's Strand Campus. It has a really, really lovely reading room that's nicely aesthetic, and so I'm gonna study there for the day and take you guys along with me. So even though none of my friends are gonna be joining me today and I'm gonna be really bored socially, the good thing is that I'm gonna be able to focus on my work and actually get a good amount of things done. For this exam season, what I started off doing was taking all of the lecture notes that I've written throughout the year and I've read through them, I've tried to understand them as best as I can and I've even gone through the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine. It's like the Bible for medical students if you don't know. I've started doing past papers and past exams and basically what I've done is I've accumulated a couple of documents that have random facts that I think are really important and that I need to commit to memory. So the challenge of today's first session in the library is going to be to commit all of those random facts and all of those important details to memory. All right, so I'm gonna put in a four hour session now until 2 p.m. So I'll take you guys with me and we'll have a lunch break after that. So I just received a phone call. All right, so I just received a phone call while I was in the library and I had to scramble out of there. Basically, I've been talking to this guy who does sort of day in the life videos of students from all across the world in all kinds of different universities. I thought it was really cool. So I reached out to him and asked if he was gonna be in England anytime soon so that we could film a day in the life at King's College London. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm doing well, how are you? That's perfect. So, so the medical school is located at Guy's campus. All right, take care. Bye bye. So super exciting news. Everything went really, really well. We're gonna meet up either tomorrow or on Monday to do this collaboration. And I'm so excited to share with you guys, wow. All right, so it's currently 12.20, which means I have not been studying for that long. So I definitely need to go back into the library and complete a couple more hours. So what I'm gonna do is listen to a series of tutorials that one of the head professors at our university gives for the medical school. They're absolutely so useful. They cover just the clinically relevant information. That's what I'm gonna cover now up until lunch. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So that is the first four hour session of studying done. I am really, really hungry now, so I'm gonna break for lunch. I definitely didn't eat enough breakfast this morning because I was too busy filming the intro for this video. I'm gonna go to this place that I tried out yesterday and I really liked, it's called Pure. We've got the high protein chili guac. And while I sit down for my lunch, in the words of Ali Abdal, I'm gonna call my parents who live in Greece to signal to you what a good son I am. really needed that meal, I'm much more awake now. So I'm gonna head back to campus and I'm probably gonna film a bunch of B-roll of the Mon Library because it looks really, really pretty. You'll either see it in the intro or now. <laughs> Regardless, enjoy.
was a quick and much needed lunch. What's up, Pidgey? Come on, mate. So this summer, like last summer, I'm going to be doing scientific research and I've decided to go back to the same lab that I was working in last summer. This is a lab in Toronto, which is the school that I did my undergraduate degree in. And I'm really excited to be going back because I have plenty of friends in Toronto from the four years that I did my undergraduate degree there. So I'm excited to see them all as well, catch up, have a good time and just enjoy the summer. God knows I'm not entering the library without a cup of coffee in my hand. I will be asleep within a couple of minutes. Let's go on a quick, quick journey to get some coffee. And that is it. I am done with the day. Finally, that's eight hours of productive work all complete. I'm really happy with what I did today. I did both medical school related things and also a little bit of paperwork that I need to complete before I travel to Toronto. So yeah, overall, it's been a really productive day. You know, with the exam coming up in just under a week now, I don't really feel stressed or worried about it. I know that no matter what, I'm gonna do okay. So currently the studying that I'm doing is sort of to improve on my weaknesses, make sure that I know everything that I think I know, and make sure that I maintain my level of knowledge until the exam comes. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was the first time anyone has ever done that while I'm vlogging. Anyway, so I'm gonna head to the station now. Necessary five second lie down. Thank you, London. Oh my gosh, it's finally summer. The sun is out properly. Look at that. Let's get a little bit more comfortable, grab a coffee, and go outside on the balcony to have a chat. This is absolutely my favorite part of the day. I come home after a long day of studying, sit down on the balcony with a coffee and just bask in the sun. This is kind of like the transition between my first four hour session of studying and my second one. This is the break that I get sort of in the middle of the day between my studying and then the rest. So gym, social time with friends, chilling by myself on my computer, binging Netflix shows, etc, etc. In about three minutes, I'm going to run out of space on this storage SD card and I've already filled up another one. That is 200 gigabytes worth of footage in just one day. <laughs> Someone tell me how I'm gonna edit 200 gigabytes of footage. This vlog is going to be a mess to edit. If you guys have made it this far in the video, please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel <laughs> just to make up for all the effort I've put into this video. Anyways, that is a problem for future me, probably while I'm in Canada editing this, probably while I'm in Canada editing this. Also, I genuinely can't believe second year is almost over. I'm going to be a third year medical student in a couple of months. That is crazy to think about. I'm gonna be almost halfway done with medical school, halfway on the way to becoming a doctor. 
And you know, it was really not that long ago at all. I was in the same position as many of you guys watching this video now, struggling to prepare for the MCAT, finish my exams, prepare for applying to medical school in two different countries. It was so difficult and I remember that struggle. I know what it feels like. And that's why I still make my UCAN videos to try and help you guys. I wanna provide back to future medical students as much as possible. It's been many years a dream in the making to become a doctor and here I am finally on the path. All I have to do is pass my exams and obviously not slack off the entire year, make sure I pay attention and just learn, learn, learn how to be a doctor. I have about one minute left of recording time on this SD card, so I'm gonna switch you guys over to the phone. I'm gonna go to the gym in a little bit after I relax and have my coffee for maybe 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, I have a couple of people coming over and we're gonna set up and play Catan over here for a couple of hours into the night. And I think that is how this day is going to end. If you guys enjoyed this content, please do subscribe as well. Nothing makes me happier than being able to interact with you guys and be able to talk to you in the comment sections. Also leave me a comment down there. If you want to, you can also follow me on Instagram for all the latest and greatest updates about me and my life while at medical school and as a research scientist over the summer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.